Hey, Sean, if you could just uh, talk about, you know, the, the team this year, what your expectations are coming into the season. Yeah, I mean, I got uh, I got high expectations for sure. I think we uh, got some pieces. Definitely, you know, our coach has utilized the transfer portal well. And, um, you know, very excited. I mean, we got some pieces out of Penn, starters, I mean, hitters, outfielders, everything you need. So, pretty excited. And are you expecting to see a jump in the uh, – uh, development of the rotation in the bullpen this season? Oh, yeah. Everyone got a year older. Everyone got a year of experience from last year. I mean, a lot of the uh, freshmen from the year before didn't have SEC experience. I didn't even have SEC experience. Now, you know, coming back with a year under my belt, um, see what happens. So, yeah, What are so. you this year? I'm a senior. And a COVID senior. starter, reliever? I'll be whatever the coaches want me to be. I believe I'm going to be in the pen, um, but when my name is called, you know, just that's action. So, I'll be ready. Last year you told me that you, you like being a starter, you do whatever, mm -hmm. and you just kind of exploded on the scene as a reliever. What was that yeah. like for you to be so vital and so successful early? Yeah, I mean, through my college experience, I'd, I've been a little bit of everything. You know, summers I've been relieving. Um, you know, UMass I was, you know, a starter. Right. But, so I've, I've experienced both. I think I can do both. And um, they want me out of pen. You know, I'm going to do my best out of pen. Yeah. What did you learn about pitching in the SEC? It's uh, it's hard. Man. You can't take a pitch off. So, um, yeah, it's it's everyone battles and it's a dogfight. So, yeah. What are you most excited to just learn out of your team here once you get on the field in a couple weeks? Yeah, I, I think um, I think through scrimmages and stuff, I've seen you know everyone compete, and I think first couple weekends are are going to be you know a challenge and. We'll see what happens after that, but I think we're, we're ready for the challenge. How do you use that newfound SEC experience to help some of those guys that are coming in this season from the portal? Yeah, I mean, um, I'm here for If anyone has any questions for me, you know, I answer that and uh, tell them my experience. But I think we got some mature guys on the team that have played a lot of college baseball. That's going to help our program for sure. So, What did you work on in the offseason? My command, you know, uh, my fastball command. I think my curveball has been there, but maybe tighten that up a little bit. I definitely think I got uh, my changeup working a lot better. And I, I've worked on a cutter as well. So I think I got some pitches that I can – uh, help me succeed, and we'll see how it goes. You okay. talked last year about early on about I think it was your changeup. Yeah. How do you feel about it now? I feel good. I feel like I can land it for a strike and land it for a ball when I want to. So I think it's going to be a key piece uh, this season. How vital is that in a league like the SEC with these monsters up there hitting the ball? I mean, they stay, they can see fastball off speed pretty well, so it's nice to have a third pitch to use so that they can you know see something else. But um, yeah, if I can get couple pitches in the zone and out of the zone when I want, I think that's going to be huge for me. So, Coach talked about taking that next step as a program, as a team, getting back to like what they did in 2017. What do you feel like it's going to take for you guys to make that happen this year? I think uh, team chemistry, depth, um, you know, I think we have those two things and, you know, that, that could be the pieces uh, of the puzzle. So, yeah. Appreciate it. And we, we scrimmage, you know, every weekend and I say these guys are tough outs. So. We got some new guys, some returning guys, uh, older guys that are experienced, and they're all ready to go. So it's going to be fun watching them um, in the box, hitting, obviously. And uh, yeah, should be good. In the other room, Coach was talking about how y'all will hold each other accountable to the point where he feels like he doesn't have to coach as much. Can we talk a little bit about that? Yeah, I mean, um, we have a very mature team. Uh, we have some transfers that came in that are, you know, they've been around college baseball for a while. So, um, you know, they hold all the young guys accountable and even the older guys as well. So we all, we have a pretty good culture in the locker room. I think that's going to be a huge step forward. So Speaking about these new faces, is there anyone you've seen that you feel is really going to make an impact here one? I think every single new guy that the coaches got from the transfer portal will be making impact. And I think there's a lot of young guys as well that will show face on the field. So I think we got everything we need. Being the one who was the new guy last year, what are you, I guess, trying to do to help the new or the now new guys kind of just assimilate into the SEC, what it's like to be at Kentucky, all that? Yeah, for me, I just try to lead by example, you know what I mean? I just I put my head down, work, and if people, you know, watch me and, and see, okay, like, that's what needs to happen for me to be successful, then, then they'll do that. And if they have any questions at all, then... I always answer them and I help them through it. And but once again, I think we have a mature group of guys. So. What came back? What came into the decision for you to come back for another year? You know what? Like I felt like I needed another year of the SEC to be at my best and be ready for pro ball, potentially if that's in the future. So, you know, I'm gonna do my best this year and see what see what happens after that. So.
What's the biggest difference this year and last year? Biggest difference? Well, for last year we had a great team. So, I mean, we, we had pieces last year and we were just, we were pretty close. Um, you know, this year I think we have those pieces and, you know, we're trying to build like a, the right chemistry with a bunch of guys, so. Yeah, Coach Minge was saying how competitive this team is. Yeah, so. we're definitely we're definitely competitive. I mean, every single inner squad that we have, I mean, the guys are fighting the box. We're fighting on the mound. Like, we're getting each other's faces when we need to. Like, it's it's good. It's a good. How's your smash talk game? Uh, you know, I I keep my mouth shut. I let my uh, my <laughs> actions do his talking. So. Yeah, Coach Minge also challenges every one of his players to return from the offseason with better skill in a particular area. Was there one area that you felt like you really worked on this year, this offseason? Yeah, I mean, strength, mobility, um, command of my fastball, um, you know, just working on all my pitches, uh, working on new pitches as well. So I think I've, I've done a lot this offseason, and hopefully that translates on the field. Are you going, you're going into the year, assuming you're, you have the closer role uh, shut down already? Yeah, I, I mean, whatever they need me to do, really. Mm -hmm. uh, closer, reliever, if they need me to do anything, you know, they'll, they'll call my name and I'll be ready for it. So whatever they need in the end. So. Are you pretty much used to this COVID?